Okay, uh, Professor Jim Schultz here from the Finance 670 class. I wanted to shoot a quick video here on some project valuation basics. This is going to be extremely brief because my goal here with this section, the final section in Finance 670, is to really just make sure that you are familiar with how to calculate the NPV and the IRR using your calculators, using your Texas Instruments BA2 Plus um, calculators. But I really wanted to at least spend, you know, two or three minutes kind of giving you a broad overview of what you are calculating, what it represents, so that you have at least some idea, hey, what does this number even mean, right? Again, we'll explore it in a lot more detail in Finance 680, but this will, this will serve as a pretty good starting point. Okay, so for project valuation, there are a myriad of different methods that you could use to value a project, and we'll talk about those in Finance 680. But the two most valuable methods I want to bring you guys up to speed on in this class are the NPV and the IRR. So the NPV, or the net present value, this is the most valuable method to value projects that companies will utilize. It's also the most resource intensive. So it's a trade-off, right? Do you want to, if you're a company and you have a project on your hands that you need to figure out if this is going to be a worthwhile endeavor, do you want to invest the time and the resources into completing a net present value calculation? Because it can be quite exhaustive. But what does the net present value even mean? What does it measure? And how can we interpret this number? Well, the first thing you want to know is it compares the present value of your cash inflows to the present value of your cash outflows. As you're going to see when you, when you take a look at how to calculate NPV in that video, NPV is a dollar number, right? So when you, when you complete the calculation, you're going to get a number like $200 or negative $500, right? What does that number actually mean? That number is actually the present value of your cash inflows minus the present value of your cash outflows. So if that number is positive, that indicates that your cash inflows exceed your cash outflows. So that's a good thing. If that number is negative, that means that your cash outflows exceed your cash inflows in a present value sense. That is not a good thing, right? So the, the starting point here is we're looking for you know, positive NPVs as opposed to negative NPVs. And the reason why is because that number is actually a direct measure of the change in firm value. If you have an NPV of $500, positive $500, what that means is the company's value will literally increase by $500 as a result of having taken on that project. So that is exactly what NPV means. Now, what about internal rate of return or... IRR as we'll add into this uh, this template here. IRR is very closely related to NPV in a lot of ways that you guys will learn later on. But right now, the first thing is that an IRR is a percentage. So it could be like 7% or 8% or 10%. So let's say it's 10%. What does that number mean? Well, it means a couple different things. The first thing I want you guys to understand that it means is... It is one way to view the rate of return on a project. So sometimes when people say, or you know, when, when business managers say, hey, I have a project that has a rate of return of 8% or 10%, it's very likely that they are referring to the internal rate of return on that project. Okay, now there are other ways that you can refer to the rate of return on a project, like the return on investment or return on capital. That's a little bit different than this, uh, this interpretation of the rate of return on a project. But frequently, the IRR is used as the rate of return on a project. Now, the second thing that's going to probably conjure up a lot of questions in your mind uh, that I'm frankly not going to answer at this point is the IRR is the discount rate that would give you a zero net present value, right? So net present value means what? It means value change. So if it's positive, we gain value. If it's negative, we lose value. Well, what if it's zero? What does that mean? Well, it technically means no value change. So how do we handle that? Well, the, the NPV, right? Because the problem has a discount rate, right? Well, NPV is just a time value money problem because you have to bring your cash flows into present value terms. So you need a discount rate to do that. Well, the discount rate that would give you a zero NPV is the IRR. So what does that mean? What are the implications of that? What are the consequences of that? I'm going to leave this off kind of like uh, a Breaking Bad episode, and we're going to leave it right there. 
We're going to leave all those questions dangling out there, and I will answer all of them in their entirety in Finance 680. So that is it for this project valuation uh, basic video. And uh, the other video on project valuation will show you how to complete the calculations in your calculators.